Su Wen Luo traveled to the Hong Kong Comprehensive World. This world has Big D, Ale, Jiang Tianxing, Lian Kuan, Lian Haolong, and so on. As an undercover agent in the police force, Su Wen Luo successfully sent away five superiors during his five-dot-year undercover career. But when the last boss took over Su Wen Luo's files, he claimed that in order to protect him, he destroyed all of Su Wen Luo's files. Su Wen Luo never had a chance to return to the police force. Since I can't go back, I'll rest assured to make money. Su Wen Luo. I want to make a movie, invest in a bank, make a big water pipe, and I want others to call me handsome. Before 1997, Su Wen Luo became the last Chinese sir on Hong Kong Island. After 1997, Su Wen Luo became a patriotic businessman and established a golden body. But there is no one on Hong Kong Island who is more patriotic than Su Wen Luo keywords of the novel. Hong Kong Variety Show Big Brother Optimus Prime, I just want to find the right path without a pop-dot-up window. Hong Kong Variety Show Big Brother Optimus Prime, I just want to find the right path. Download the complete text. Hong Kong Variety Show Big Brother Optimus Prime, I just want to find the latest chapter of the right path. Chapter 1 Three years and three years, who knew I was an undercover agent? You are listening at Novel Full Audio. Chapter 1 Three years and three years, who knew I was an undercover agent? Luaga, there's a water police officer ahead. Su Wen Luo shook the red wine in his hand and looked at Hong Kong Island in the darkness. Get over here. Who came, Su Wen Luo was very clear, and their purpose was also clear to Su Wen Luo. Check, everyone cooperate. The speedboat of the water police docked with this cargo ship. Uh, sir, don't worry, we are legal citizens and will definitely cooperate. Su Wen Luo said and placed an oiled paper envelope in the hands of the leading white inspector. Then he took out ten smaller envelopes and sent them out one by one. After collecting the envelope, the white inspector finally showed a satisfied smile. Allo, as you know, this is a routine inspection. No one in Mong Kok knows the name of your A. Hulua. John, what major events have happened on Hong Kong Island in the past few days? Su Wen Luo pulled out a cigarette and lit it, then put it at the corner of the white ghost's mouth. What a big deal, no matter how big it is, it can surpass you in Lianqing's newly established restaurant. The big D in Suen Wan and the A. Lu in Jordan will quickly turn people's minds into dogs' minds. John took a puff of his cigarette and said. How about it, do you have any ideas to come up with a choice? Sir, don't joke anymore. My boss just takes his girls for exercise and then plays mahjong. He doesn't have the idea of choosing a gym. Su Wen Luo smiled and pulled the topic back. All right, Mong Kok hasn't been peaceful lately, please take care of your own safety. John threw half of his cigarette into the sea, patted the oiled paper envelope in his pocket, and then waved his hand in satisfaction, saying. This ship is fine, team up. The water police who came with the team were also very satisfied. Since the era of the Black Empire, money, has passed, the group of ICAC guys seem to have gone crazy. So much so that their income as police officers sharply decreased. You should know that the economy of Hong Kong Island is currently developing. They also have to support their families. If it's those big money collectors who follow the trend, they wouldn't dare to accept the envelopes provided by the water police. But Ah Hulua is a different guy. This guy invested in building a large A. Goods factory in Shenzhen, specializing in replicating luxury goods from abroad. And this guy has one advantage, he never touches fans. Therefore, they didn't hesitate to put away the envelope given by A. Hulua. Moreover, the envelope is not a Hong Kong paper, it is just a bill of lading. With this delivery note, they went to several large stores in Mong Kok to purchase a goods worth thousands of yuan. Luaga, the ship has docked. Su Wen Luo nodded and then said. Half of this batch of goods will be delivered to Jimmy's place, 
and the other half will be taken out to let the brothers below start laying the goods. Okay, Logo, Jimmy just called and his truck is already waiting at the dock. Well, this batch of goods is sold out, let the brothers rest for two days. Remember, take the money back to supplement some household expenses, don't take out all of it to fool around. After Su Wen Luo finished speaking, he got off the ship and then boarded a Toyota Crown. The man Su Wen Luo called Jimmy is Jimmy in the Dragon City era. He is also a disciple of Lianchen, but everyone belongs to a different elder brother. Jimmy's elder brother is called Guan Zai, Sen, while Lao Ding is the elder of Liancheng, Long Zhen. Yao Ma Ti, the rooftop of a 20-story office building. Sir, isn't it that I said you always choose the rooftop when you meet, and you're not afraid of being thrown off it? Su Wen Luo was really helpless. He had already told his contact person not to choose the rooftop as the meeting location, but the other person just wouldn't listen. Allo, you know, the rooftop is the most secretive place. What's the good news? Zhong Qingxiang waved nonchalantly. Don't say I'm an undercover agent in the black sexy society and don't do anything. Tomorrow night at 11 o'clock at the De O port, the D has a batch of goods to land. I'm leaving. Su Wen Luo really can't understand the bad taste of his boss. Su Wen Luo has been traveling for over two years now, and Inspector Zhong Qingxiang who met this time is his fourth liaison. According to the memory of my predecessor, I was an undercover agent sent by the police and Liancheng. And this world is a mixed world of Hong Kong and Hong Kong. There are approximately five million residents on Hong Kong Island today, but one-tenth of them are the ancient Chinese. In this era, the Black Empire had just disintegrated, and countless organizations such as Hongxing and Jiang Tiancheng. Camels from Dongxing. Winning together with Dengbo, De Di, and Ale. The Jiang family in Xinji and various clubs such as Number Gang and Honglu. And my identity is a straw shoe for Liancheng. His master's name is Optimus Prime, originally named Ren Qin Tian, and he was supposed to be the official of Hongxing society in knowledge of law violation. But in this world of film and television integration, he has become a fit person in the Mong Kok district of Liancheng. Sometimes Su Wen Luo would exclaim, Life is unpredictable, the large intestine surrounds the small intestine. Su Wen Luo extinguished the cigarette but in his hand and threw it into the trash can. Boom! A black object fell from high altitude and directly hit a Toyota car parked on the roadside. Immediately after, a piercing alarm sounded. Pock Street. Looking at the object that landed on the roof, it was none other than the boss Zhong Qingxiang who had just met him. Is it really a cult? Ah, it's the fourth one. I don't know who the next lucky one will be. Su Wen Luo lowered his hat and entered a nearby alley, where he perfectly avoided the few cameras on the street. Su Wen Luo was not surprised by the death of Zhong Qingxiang. This guy was known for his ruthlessness in handling affairs and had offended many people during Aji. Obviously, this time it was his enemy who took action. As for which club it is, Su Wen Luo doesn't want to think about it anymore. Because this guy directly destroyed the files that may have left him in doubt at the police station. The beautiful name is. Protect your own safety. You know, this guy just got in touch with me three months ago. It has been three months since the death of the previous contact person. Su Wen Luo also doubted whether he had been forgotten by the police. Sure enough, it was another three years, another three years. Su Wen Luo also once roast that he would stay with Liancheng for three more years. Now that Zhong Qingxiang has passed away, it is unknown how long it will be before his next contact person. Thinking of destroying his files, Su Wen Luo even suspected that he would never be able to go back. At the gym, Su Wen Luo put on his boxing gloves and swung the sandbag in the office after returning. At this moment, a cold system prompt sounded in my mind. Open the Big Owl System host. Su Wen Luo, age. 22 years old, integral, 47,532,900. 
lottery has been opened, mall has been opened, the compensation beginner gift pack has been distributed. Poking the street, Su Wen Luo has traveled for so long, thinking that this is how his life has been. I didn't expect to be able to open the system even after my boss died. This clock sir is really his lucky star. I can't burn more paper money for him next time. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Payment. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 2 Payment Just looking at the numerical values of the integration in the system, Su Wen Luo became more and more familiar with it. Isn't this point the balance in your bank card? This NEMA, this GO system, doesn't mean you want to use the balance in your bank card to draw a prize. This is my hard.earned money, which I finally saved up bit by bit. If you want to move it, you street thug, don't even think about it. Ding, the system update is complete and everything is as expected by the host. The system points are linked to the balance in the real world host's bank card, and the exchange ratio is 1 dot to point 0.1. Please use it properly. The default currency of the system is Hong Kong dollars, what's the difference between this and those money burning games from the past, now it's about making reasonable recharges. You are a miserable family, it is a reasonable robbery. What is the use of this system? The beginner gift package will expire in one hour, with a remaining time of 59 minutes and 27 seconds Grandma and I, the system is really lacking. Su Wen Luo gritted his teeth and received the system's beginner gift package. Ding, the beginner gift pack has been opened, you have obtained. Mastery level 8 extremes fist, you have obtained. Beretta 92, M9, with 200 rounds, you gain. 5 free attribute points, you receive. 1 million Hong Kong paper, stored in territorial warehouse, the variety of gift packages for beginners was something that Su Wen Luo never expected. Slowly, the corner of his mouth also curved. If the rewards of the system are always so rich, then this system is still useful. System, claim proficiency level 8 extremes fist, and add 5 attribute points to strength and stamina. After this decision was made, Su Wen Luo discovered a mysterious force suddenly appearing in his body. He could clearly feel that his strength had increased to a certain extent. Each little person in his mind was doing different actions, and after demonstrating these actions, Su Wen Luo felt as if he knew how to do them. After a moment, everything was fused, and Su Wen Luo looked at his hands. With a single punch, the sandbag in front of me exploded. Is this the capability of the system? This is amazing. Even Su Wen Luo doubted whether he would become Superman in the future. System, extract M9 pistol. Everything is over, Su Wen Luo looks at the brand new Beretta 92 SBF that appears on his desk. The bullets in the magazine are full. The pistol gestured twice in his hand, and Su Wen Luo inserted him into his lower back. As for the 1 million Hong Kong paper provided by the system, Su Wen Luo did not take it out. Because at this moment, a sound sounded outside the door. Luaga, Big D's head horse Chang Mao is coming to find you. Su Wen Luo frowned slightly, wondering what this guy was up to. You ask him to wait outside for a moment, I'll come out right away. Su Wen Luo glanced at his office, confirmed that there were no issues, and then turned around to close the door and leave. Long hair, I don't know what Big D is looking for me to do. Su Wen Luo asked the front desk to pour him a glass of wine and then walked up to Chang Mao. Allo, Big D is in the car outside. Long hair finished speaking and walked out. Outside the bar, a Toyota nanny parked there. When Su Wen Luo arrived outside the car, the door was open from the inside. Big Brother D, come with us, it makes Mong Coke shine brightly. Looking at the familiar face in front of him, Su Wen Luo greeted with a smile. Allo, I told you a long time ago that following the dwarf Optimus Prime has no future. Why don't you cross paths with me and I'll treat you as a guest in the next round, and we'll all get rich together. Big D said and threw out a cigar. Big D brother, you're joking. 
Tian Gu treats me like his own brother, and I won't betray him. Su Wen Luo took the cigar thrown by De Di. You kid, do whatever you want. Remember, as long as you pass the deadline, when I become a restaurant, I'll leave Tsu and Wan to you to take care of. Big D continues to throw out olive branches. Big D, this time Deng Boming obviously wants to choose Lu Xiao. Are you sure you still have a chance? Su Wen Luo was not angry either and told the other party the news he knew. Upon hearing that Deng Bo favored Lin Huila, Big D's eyes flashed with a murderous intent, but he quickly concealed the past. As expected, no one is simple to be a big brother. Allo, and Liancheng are not in Deng Fei's alone world. There are 1.3 million here. Please hand over 1 million to Uncle Tai and ask him to choose me. There are also 300,000 to Optimus Prime. Su Wen Luo knew that this 300,000 yuan should be the remaining balance of the batch of goods they traded last time. It's just that Su Wen Luo didn't expect Big D to let him hand it over. Big D, you know, today Tian Gu is celebrating his sister. In Dot Law's birthday. At noon, he is setting up a drink in Li Yuan. If you don't want to go and have a drink together, Big D. In fact, Su Wen Luo was well aware that Ren Qingtian's wine display today was not so simple, but to eliminate the wealthy A.I. Albua from Tongkai Street. As long as A.I. Albua dies today, his territory will be empty and he can at least get one bar. That dead dwarf is really lucky. I won't drink alcohol anymore. Can you help me bring the things and come to Tsu and Wan to play when you have time? By the way, the payment will be credited to your account in three days. Then, Big D, take your time. Su Wen Luo said, carrying his backpack and getting out of the car, waving goodbye to Big D. Su Wen Luo watched Big D's nanny car move away and told his subordinates to guard the bar before driving away. At this moment, in the hotel, the game of cards had just begun, perhaps due to the smooth flow of hand. Soon, Ren Qing Tian had over 100,000 Hong Kong papers in front of him. Boss, Brother Luo is here. The little brother guarding at the entrance of the private room came in directly to report upon seeing Su Wen Luo's arrival. At this moment, Su Wen Luo had already pushed the door open and walked in. Allo, why are you only here now? Come and sit down. Ren Qing Tian stood up happily after seeing Su Wen Luo, and then asked the spicy chicken next to him to give up his seat. Tian Gu, this is the money for this month, a total of two million. Su Wen Luo said and threw the package in his hand onto the table. This Ren Qing Tian has always been like this. Every time it's time to collect the data, it's a birthday celebration either for a horse or for a mother. Once it was even more outrageous, their dog had to go through it once. Allo, with so many brothers, the one I trust the most is you. Why, because you have a mind and can make money, Palin keeps the money. Ren Qing Tian is very satisfied. Although Su Wen Luo is not a fan, he can really make money. The money paid every month is not less than what they paid in the funeral. Tian Gu, this is the 300000 that Big D asked me to give to you, and this is one million for Lao Ding Tai Yi. Big D said, I want Tai Yi to vote for him. Su Wen Luo took out the other two smaller oil paper seals. De Di, it seems that he's really putting in a lot of effort for this restaurant. Once it's done, where can I put the money? I know now. Ren Qing Tian didn't care much about the one million he gave to his old boss, as the amount he gave was just a slight change in his mouth. P.S. Some modifications have been made, replacing Desert Eagle with M9, end of this chapter. Chapter 3 Famous Scenes in the Hotel's Wedding Room You are listening at NovelFull.audio The source has no content or has errors. Chapter 4 The Villain Dies from Talking Too Much You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 the villain dies from talking too much however, he didn't give away a penny that he should have paid, 
so Ren Qing Tian was completely dumbfounded and had nowhere to vent his anger. This time, I Enbo embezzled money and just gave him a good opportunity. As long as you get rid of AI Bird here, not only can you give others a warning, but you can also take back the few shops in AI Enberg's hands. In this way, every month we earn millions of dollars, and we can count them in one fell swoop. Thinking that he was about to return to his own hands with a monthly income of one million, Ren Qing Tian took out a sharp steak knife from the lunchbox on the table. Su Wen Luo suddenly realized that AI Albua, who should have been unconscious, had already regained some consciousness after a short episode caused by his recent appearance. Su Wen Luo saw his head twitch, although the amplitude was small. Interesting. Su Wen Luo smiled at the corner of his mouth as he was not prepared to give any warning to Ren Qing Tian. As for the reason, this guy, knowing that he had a route to transport drugs to China, actually went crazy and allowed himself to transport drugs to China. You should know how many anti-drug police officers have sacrificed in mainland China over the years to fight against drugs. Now, asking you to transport laundry detergent to China and harm your own compatriots, Su Wen Luo asked himself if he could do it. That batch of goods was sent to the police force by Su Wen Luo through the previous liaison. The dining knife was about to fall, and Iobo suddenly erupted. Ren Qing Tian, you dead dwarf, you actually want to kill me. Embezzled your money, don't you take a look. Is the money you give enough for the brothers below to spend each time? A.I. Albuak grabbed the knife originally used for eating steak and stabbed it into Ren Qingtian's chest. My brother collected money for you, but someone threw one down from upstairs and you didn't even pay for the settlement fee. Brothers, if you go to fight and grab territory and get injured, you still won't get a penny. Now I'm just taking some money from you, and you're actually saying that I'm corrupt. Since that's the case, if I leave, you can go over the gear and see who can still beat me. As Iobo spoke, the knife in his hand had already been stabbed four or five times in a row. Da Fu and Da Fei still sat in their seats watching. Just now Ren Qingtian's words have made them guess that so dot called corruption is just a starting point. Ren Qing naively was thinking of reshuffling the cards. Since that's the case, it's better for this boss to let him die. Now only Spicy Chicken and Uncle Xing look anxious. Spicy Chicken is just a waste, and over the years, it has been helping Ren Qing Tian manage two nightclubs on Bolin Street. If Ren Qing Tian had any major problems, his interests would be most severely affected. And Uncle Xing, who is almost 60 years old this year, is the white paper fan left behind by Uncle Tai Tai, the previous speaker of Mong Kok. The main task is to manage the accounts of Mong Kok. If Ren Qing Tian makes a mistake, he will have to go home to retire. As for Su Wen Luo, he happily took a sip of the cola he had just placed on the table. He didn't expect the plot to undergo a major reversal. Indeed, since ancient times. Villains die from talking too much. This principle will never change. After drinking the cola in his hand, Ren Qing Tian had already been stabbed more than ten times. Su Wen Luo knew it was time for him to take action. After all, I don't want any reputation in the martial arts world like those two scattered eggs, Da Fu and Da Fei. To establish a foothold in the martial arts world, reputation is really important. You should see that the crippled nine-striped dragon from the United Kingdom Society in the Kowloon Ice House has a good reputation. Even if you have a limp, you can still rise again in Kowloon, although it is not possible to reinsert the flag and pull the ground again, if his Kowloon Ice Room is bullied, dozens of little brothers will immediately come to help. As for standing the stick, he didn't even think about it, let alone whether the Ding Yi of Lianying would agree. You said, the person in charge of the club is a cripple, neither good dot looking nor pleasant to say. Jiu Wen Long also understands this truth and knows that the more you use human relationships, the less they are used. It was also the Ding Ye of the United Kingdom who spoke, otherwise how could his ice chamber have become a place for other small and medium dot sized gangs to talk about their origins. So, Reputation, like toilet paper, can sometimes be useful. At this moment, 
Ai Aobo wanted to give Ren Qingtian a final blow, and the knife in his hand ran towards Ren Qingtian's neck. Su Wenluo knew that he couldn't die or be saved anymore. He picked up the stool next to him and smashed it directly onto Iobo's body. The sudden howling sound prevented the crazy Ayob from hearing it at all. Now all he had in his eyes was a knife stabbing the dwarf in front of him. This time it hit firmly on the back of Iobo. A hundred and ten pound solid wood chair smashed Aobo out like this. Ren Qingtian's mouth overflowed with blood, and he didn't care about his injuries. Instead, he looked at A.I. Aobo angrily and said. Kill this street thug for me. A.I. Aobo stood up again. The moment before was really painful, but he still endured the pain and looked at Ren Qingtian. After hearing Ren Qingtian's sentence of wanting to kill him, he completely lost his rationality. If you're going to die, I'll also hold you as a cushion. Yen Wangye has to take a step behind you everywhere. Amidst the roar, Aobo swayed and charged towards Ren Qingtian. Looking at the approaching knife, Ren Qingtian's body could no longer hold on and collapsed directly. It was also this one, and then he dodged this fatal final blow. Unfortunately. The people around me have the same thoughts in their hearts. However, since this sword did not kill Ren Qingtian, they could only send Aobo to see God. Let God forgive his sinful life. Brothers and sisters, slay the street thug who committed the following crimes, Iobo. The funeral first spoke up, and then rushed in from outside the house five or six mourning horses directly turned Aobo into a vegetable. Big shot, big shot. Seeing the stable situation, Spicy Chicken immediately ran to Ren Qingtian's side. What a big guy. If you don't send him to the hospital, he will really go down to sell salted duck egg. De Fei also walked over at this moment and slapped the spicy chicken directly. Right, 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 go to the hospital as soon as possible. He didn't seem to react to the slap De Fei just gave him. Hurriedly asked the five younger brothers who were still beating Aobo to lift a stretcher and send Ren Qing Tian to the hospital. Quickly, after crossing a street, they appeared outside Guanghua Hospital. Just as he was sent to the emergency room, Spicy Chicken slapped a stack of Hong Kong paper on the doctor's table. Doctor, give me the best medicine and make sure to save my boss, it's not a waste of money. The doctor, wearing a professional white coat, looked at Ren Qing Tian on the stretcher. At this moment, Ren Qing Tian's whole body had been stained red with blood, and he had undergone a simple test. The doctor shook his head and nodded again. Through years of experience, the doctor could tell at a glance that the weapon that caused such a tragic situation to the injured was a dining knife. Because the wounds are wide on the top and thin on the bottom, but none of these wounds are lethal. Just two of them stabbed in the wrong direction. A knife pierced into the lungs and a knife pierced into the kidneys. Even if saved, he will still be a useless person with few years of good life to live. End of this chapter Chapter 5 Arlo's True Identity You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 5 Arlo's True Identity The lights in the emergency room were still on, and Su Wen Luo, De Fu, De Fei, Spicy Chicken, Pauline, and a dozen or so young men stood quietly outside the corridor. As for Uncle Xing, he went to Mr. Tai's home to report and also dialed Deng Bo's phone number. In no time, Two elderly people slowly walked over with the support of five or six black suits. Lao Ding. Deng Bo. Upon seeing the incoming person, De Fu and De Fei immediately stood up to greet them. Lao Ding. Su Wen Luo walked up to Dragon King Tai's side. He respectfully shouted to the chubby man next to him, Uncle Deng. Allo, how's your boss doing? Dragon King Tai patted Su Wenlua's shoulder and asked. Lao Ding, the doctor is still rescuing inside, and the specific situation will have to wait for the doctor to come out first. Spicy Chicken answered first, but after finishing speaking, his eyes still looked worried at the closed door of the emergency operating room. In fact, after hearing Uncle Xing say that Ren Qing Tian had been stabbed more than ten times in a row, 
Dragon King Tai had no hope that Ren Qing Tian could survive. Because there are more than ten knives in the body, it is impossible to put them on any normal person. Unless he wears red underwear outside. Ah Tian, this kid is really too careless. Deng Bo patted his old friend's shoulder and sighed. During this period, Deng Bo has been struggling with the election of the new spokesperson for He Liancheng. Originally, everyone was still drinking tea together, and when it was almost agreed to choose Ao Lu, Uncle Xing called to inform Ren Qing Tian that his younger brother had stabbed him more than ten times. This kind of thing has never happened before with Liancheng. This is completely like treating the signboard of Liancheng as grass paper, wiping your butt and stepping on it twice. If we have a few more matches with Lianqing in the future, I will kill Big Brother. So, do we still need to light up the sign of Lianqing? Uncle Tai, it's my fault for what happened today. When I saw Tian Gu executing the family law, I was afraid of seeing blood, so I sat next to Uncle Xing otherwise, Tian Gu wouldn't have been injured today. At this moment, everyone present realized that Su Wenluo's nickname for Dragon King Tai was different from the others. All the people present were the younger brothers of Optimus Prime, and in front of Dragon King Tai, they could only be called Lao Ding. And Su Wen Luo actually called Long Wang Tai Uncle Tai. This relationship is a bit abnormal. If it's just shouting, it's a matter of disorderly seniority, and it's subject to family rules. Deng Bo did the same, looking at his old friend Long Wang Tai with questioning eyes. This is the son of an old friend of mine. In order to save me, his old doe was cut down by a lame man. His mother took her to the countryside. A few years ago, he saved Atian and was brought to me by Atian. I recognized him at a glance, and then took him as a doorman. Deng Fei, as you know, I have collected the mountain, so I have asked Atian to help take care of him in the past few years. Allo, this kid is also in high spirits. With his own abilities, he managed to break through the name of A. Huolua. At this moment, it was only after the great morning that people realized that even A. Huoluo was not a student of Optimus Prime. No wonder that time, Optimus Prime's cargo was lost, and even A. Cargo Luo dared not get angry. It's okay, it's not your fault. You've done your best. But it's really terrifying for the younger generation terrifying for the younger generation. How could we and Liancheng not prosper with such underachievers around? Deng Bo patted Su Wenluo's shoulder with satisfaction. Deng Bo flattered me. In fact, everyone present knows that after this incident, Optimus Prime's body will definitely not be able to hold on, and even if he doesn't die, he must go down early to retire. Originally, both De Fu and De Fei thought they would have a chance. Now it seems that everything is for Su Wenluo's wedding dress. But in front of Dragon King Tai and Deng Bo and Lianqing Yuan Lao, they dare not say a word more. At this moment, the spicy chicken ran to the nearby ward and brought two stools for Lao Ding Tai and Deng Bo to sit down. An hour has passed. The emergency room lights finally went out. The spicy chicken quickly ran to the door and the doctor who came out quickly asked. Doctor, how is my boss doing? Looking at the group of ancient troublemakers gathered around him, the doctor said. My life has been saved, but if I lose too much blood, there may be some sequelae. I haven't woken up yet, so I estimate I will need to sleep in the ICU for a few days. That's great, it's really great. Upon hearing that Ren Qing Tian was not dead, Spicy Chicken immediately became happy. If the spicy chicken goes to sell salted duck egg, it is estimated that the funeral will occupy all the places in Bolan Street before tonight. So, Ren Qing Tian is his only thigh. Now, hearing that the person is not dead, I immediately feel at ease. As for the sequelae and so on. That's just my own boss, and it's my own father. No matter when he dies. The spicy chicken now has started thinking about planning for itself. He wants to take advantage of this period of time and the winning election to find a reliable alternative. He set his goal on Yang Kuan of Hongxing society. 
Liang Cohen is a spokesperson for Hongxing Society in Mong Kok, and also has a considerable influence in Mong Kok. As long as you cross the line, you can keep at least one of your two bars. The doctor's words were also heard by Dragon King Tai and Deng Bo. After confirming that Ren Qing Tian could not die, the two of them also stood up. Since the person is fine and the company still has a meeting, let's go back first. Sitting on a hospital chair for an hour is torture for Deng Bo. Moreover, the smell of disinfectant around me is really pungent. Dragon King Tae stood up, patted Su Wenlua's shoulder, and looked at the group of people in the great funeral and flying, saying. During Ah Tian's hospitalization and recovery period, please assist Ah Luo well and be careful not to let other clubs come and grab territory when they receive news. Knowing Uncle Tai, we will definitely hold on to our territory. The others haven't spoken yet, Su Wen Luo said confidently. Dragon King Tai is very satisfied with his closed door student. Allo, do it well. When Deng Bo walked up to Su Wen Luo, he said in words that only two people could hear. After Deng Bo and Dragon King Tai left, the face of the morning immediately changed. He walked up to the spicy chicken and patted its face, saying. Spicy chicken, you stay here and keep an eye on Tian Gu. As soon as Tian Gu wakes up, he will call us immediately. I have something else to do in the field, so I'll leave first. After finishing speaking, he left directly. When he reached Su Wenlua's side, he paused for a moment and then left again. De Fei saw De Fu leave and left directly. When he arrived at the spicy chicken side, he slapped him and said. Watch it, if the boss has anything, I'll break your leg. For Da Fei, spicy chicken is really hard to say, after all, the other person is his brother. In law. Seeing Da Fu and Da Fei leave, Su Wen Luo also said a few words to Spicy Chicken and left directly. As for Pauline, she is currently stationed in front of Ren Qingtian's hospital bed, and Su Wen Luo has also reduced communication with the other party to avoid suspicion. Pauline also understood these principles and didn't take a second glance at Su Wen Luo throughout the process. End of this chapter Chapter 6 The Identity of an Undercover Exposed you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 6 The identity of an undercover exposed after leaving the hospital, Su Wen Luo directly got on a Bentley. This is Su Wen Luo's car, and it's not the water wheel of Saigon Big Fool. Luaga, all the money has been taken back. Gao Jin said, placing the trunk on the passenger seat in the back seat. Su Wen Luo opened the box and found not only the amount he paid today, but also the 1.3 million given by De Di. Among them, 300,000 belongs to Ren Qing Tian, which can be saved. Go to Uncle Tai's house. Gao Jin is Su Wen Luo's personal bodyguard. Two years ago, Su Wen Luo accidentally discovered him and left him to work by his side. At that time, Su Wen Luo had just crossed over and started his A. Goods business, but ended up provoking the Hundred Flowers Snake of Lianhe. Baihua Snake has a large A. Goods factory in Kowloon, and at that time, he provided many A. Goods on the market. Su Wen Luo's construction of a factory in mainland China directly violated his interests. Su Wen Luo still remembers that the first direct shipment accidentally overturned while passing through Kowloon. The driver died on the spot and the truck caught fire. That time, Su Wen Luo lost a million. Upon investigation, it was found that the mastermind behind this matter was the veteran Baihua snake of Lianhe. Su Wen Luo entered the Jiulong castle and found Uncle Tai. At that time, I immediately fell in love with Gao Jin, who was fighting on the arena. According to Uncle Tai, Gao Jin only appeared in Jiulong city fortress for a month. Now that we have entered the sixth round, Uncle Tai's words mean. Gao Jin has the ability to enter the ninth challenge completely. Su Wen Luo certainly believed this, so he directly took him off the arena and stayed by his side to do things. The next evening, Su Wen Luo took Gao Jin to order the factory of Baihua Snake. 
The Baihua snake jumped directly from the third floor and broke both legs. Of course, looking at the Baihua snake with broken legs, Su Wen Luo chose to forgive his mistake. However, as the apologizing party, Baihua snake compensated Su Wen Luo with 5 million yuan. As a gesture of gratitude, Gao Jin kicked the spine of the Baihua snake into three sections. From now on, he no longer has to worry about wasting time walking. In this battle, Su Wen Luo lit up his name in Kowloon. Over the course of two years of development, Su Wen Luo's henchmen have also grown to over 300 people. Most of these young horses set up stalls in Mong Kok, and some even help to watch and set sail. But the money they can earn every month is much more than the money earned by the few salespeople in the Great Depression. In today's Hong Kong Island, the average person's monthly income is around 3,000 Hong Kong paper. Those guys in the Great Morning only care about their own food, and their horses are only around 800 a month at most. Even drinking milk tea requires accounting. But Su Wen Luo is different. Last month, his henchmen received at least 3,700 Hong Kong paper in one month. Without comparison, there is no harm. Luaga, here we are. Gao Jin parked Bentley in the parking space. Suddenly, a burst of noisy dog barking sounded. Allo. Seeing Su Wen Luo walking down from Bentley, the person in charge of the dog farm quickly ran over. Uncle Biao, help me kill a black dog, I'm craving it. Uncle Biao's original name was Lin Wen Biao, and he was the sworn brother of his own ghost, Lao Do. Originally, Su Wen Luo thought that Uncle Biao was selling pork in the countryside. Who would have thought that for so many years, Uncle Biao has always been trying to protect himself? Su Wen Luo even suspected that he was an undercover agent in the police force, and both Uncle Biao and Uncle Tai knew about it. Uncle Biao, has Uncle Tai returned? Su Wen Luo asked. I just came back, I should be practicing calligraphy in the study now. You can go there by yourself. After Lin Wenbiao finished speaking, he patted Su Wen Luo's shoulder and said in his ear, Tai Gu seemed a bit unhappy when he came back today. Su Wen Luo understood and nodded, Thank you, Uncle Biao. I know now. The door of the study was half closed, and Su Wen Luo lightly knocked on it. Come in, I know you will definitely come. Long Wang Tai finished writing the last word with a perfect brush. Uncle Tai, good handwriting, really good handwriting. Su Wen Luo praised the four words, Tranquility cultivates character, on the desk. All right, Luozi, stop flattering and come and sit down. For this young boy, Dragon King Tai completely treated him as his own. The first time he saw Su Wen Luo, he recognized him at a glance. Because both in appearance and temperament, he is exactly the same as his brother. After that day, he also had his information checked over the years. When he saw Su Wen Luo being fired by the police, he guessed it, Su Wen Luo should be the undercover agent planted by the police into the club. What can he do if his own offspring is an undercover agent? We can only do our best to protect ourselves. In four years, he sent four inspectors who had contacted with Su Wen Luo to sell salted duck egg. Yesterday, the latest one was also sent down by a Biao and also enjoyed a flying man in the air. Luozi, you young people have many ideas. In the past, when we were in a club, we had no choice, but now it's up to you to choose this path yourself. Since you have chosen this path, you need to grasp the direction on your own in the future. As uncle gets older, there will be fewer and fewer people who can help you in the future, so you need to become stronger quickly. Long Wang Tai opened the refrigerator in the study and took out a bottle of chilled cola. Su Wen Luo knew that the drinks in this refrigerator were all prepared for himself. Because when I first arrived, I said. I don't like drinking tea, I like drinking cola. From that day on, in Uncle Tai's antique study, a refrigerator, which was specifically designed for storing cola, appeared very incongruously. Luozi, now you are also a big shot. In the future, you can't drink cola anymore. 
This is a top dot quality mother tree red robe. Take it with you when you leave and put it on the company's storefront for decoration. Su Wen Luo suddenly noticed that Uncle Tai's face had a few more wrinkles and his hair had white hair. The last time I saw you, it wasn't like this. Uncle Tai. Su Wen Luo wanted to say something, but Dragon King Tai reached out and interrupted. Luozi, Uncle Tai knows what you're trying to say. There are some things that I know even if you don't say them. You've seen five inspectors in the past five years, and the last one was yesterday. Upon hearing Long Wang Tai reveal his identity as an undercover agent, his hand holding Coca-Cola trembled slightly. Uncle Tai, you know now. Su Wen Luo put down the cola in his hand. Luozi, two years ago when you chose to find Jingxing, I knew that you had changed and started accepting your membership in the club. I'm glad because you were born to eat this bowl of rice. Now that Atian is lying on the hospital bed, he may have been like this for a lifetime. So, you must carry the flag of Mong Kok. Those two guys, Big Funeral and Big Fly, have a bone in the back of their heads. If you want to stand firm, you must kill them. As for spicy chicken, it's just a waste. You can dispose of it as you please. Axing is an elderly member of the club. If you don't want to use it, let him go home for retirement. In one sentence, Uncle Tai decided the life and death of several major players in Mong Kok. Su Wen Luo knew that Uncle Tai should have arranged everything. End of this chapter. Chapter 7 Umbrellas Worshipped in the Ancestral Hall You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 Umbrellas Worshipped in the Ancestral Hall Sitting in a Restaurant, This Kind of Thing Su Wen Luo Never Thought About Uncle Tai Su Wen Luo looked up and suddenly realized that at some point, Uncle Tai's hair had turned slightly grayish. Uncle Tai never thought about competing for a seat in a restaurant, I just want to do business with peace of mind and become a millionaire. Luozi, times have changed. The current era is no longer the era when you and I were loyal. In this era, what we talk about is who has money, power, and background. Now, the ship of Liancheng has become elusive. At any moment, a hurricane may pass by and this ship will sink, and we old folks are looking for a good helmsman for this ship ale, that guy doesn't have the ability, he can make big pancakes. Even if given two years' time, he can only earn some extra money at most, but you are different. You will lead the ship of Liancheng towards the right direction. 97 is coming soon. Although we are members of the Short Mule Club, we are also very patriotic. This conversation lasted for over two hours, and no one in the study except for Su Wen Luo and Long Wang Tai knew what they were talking about. I'm getting old and a bit talkative. Luozi, Uncle N.I. Biao's dog meat pot is almost ready. Let's go and taste it together. Su Wen Luo stepped forward and helped Dragon King Tai out of the study. At the dining table, Dragon King Tai sat in the main seat, and dinner didn't really start until Dragon King Tai moved his chopsticks. A dog meat pot lasted for about an hour, but in fact, Long Wang Tai had already eaten it half an hour ago. However, as Su Wen Luo was feasting on it, Long Wang Tai did not put down his chopsticks. When the last piece of dog meat in the pot entered Su Wen Luo's stomach, Dragon King Tai put down his chopsticks. I'm getting old, my appetite is really not as good as you young people. Luozi, come with me. After seeing Su Wen Luo put down his chopsticks, Dragon King Tai stood up. Su Wen Luo stepped forward to assist. Passing through a long corridor, a room appeared at the end. Before approaching, Su Wen Luo could smell the scent of sandalwood. Uncle Tai, where is this? Open the door and come in with me. Following in the footsteps of Dragon King Tai, Su Wen Luo entered this temple filled with the fragrance of sandalwood. In front of me was a huge and slowly burning incense stick, with sixteen black boxes hanging around it. Su Wen Luo looked at the orientation and overall shape of these boxes, and the more they looked, the more they looked like an umbrella. Come on, get
give your old bean a stick of incense. While Su Wen Luo was still observing the layout of the room, Dragon King Tai lit a incense stick and then took out three sticks to hand to Su Wen Luo. Old Bean Su Wen Luo was puzzled, but soon he found that there were more than ten spiritual tablets enshrined on the incense table in the middle of the room. The Spirit Throne of Su Shirang Renshan Su Renshan is just his own dead ghost old bean. Su Wen Luo's gaze turned to Uncle Tai. Dragon King Tai nodded and confirmed Su Wen Luo's idea. Su Wen Luo respectfully received the incense, then bowed three times and began to apply it. Luozi, go and give each of them incense sticks. Dragon King Tai handed over all the incense in his hand to Su Wen Luo. Brothers and ancestors, the child has returned. You must bless Luo Zai below. He is the only descendant of our lineage, and you must not let anything happen to him. Looking at Su Wen Luo, who was consecrated one by one, Dragon King Tai said to the spiritual cards in front of him. Su Wen Luo didn't know this. Except for his own father's one, all the spiritual cards in front of him were covered with a layer of black gauze. Although Su Wen Luo was curious, he did not take the initiative to inquire or uncover. Because he knows that when he should know, Uncle Tai will tell him everything. Uncle Tai, what are these boxes? After helping Dragon King Tai sit down, Su Wen Luo looked at the black metal boxes. I want to know, go and see for yourself. Su Wen Luo walked under the umbrella, looked at the box marked with spade six in front of him, and turned to look at Uncle Tai. Uncle Tai nodded, and Su Wen Luo took a deep breath before opening the box. The box opened, revealing a photo and a leather file bag. Su Wen Luo Meng, this is very different from what he thought. Luozi, this is not only a place where we worship the Su family's lineage, but also a place where we worship this umbrella. As long as the person inside this umbrella doesn't have any problems, then our Su family won't decline. Uncle Tai spoke and uncovered the plaque next to Old Bean, which was covered in black gauze. Su Wen Luo could clearly see the name on the plaque. Su Ren Tai. Uncle Tai, this. Su Wen Luo was puzzled. Su Ren Tai is me, I am Su Ren Tai. Your father Su Ren Shan is the fourth in our family and also my youngest brother. So, I am your uncle, Su Wen Luo took a step back, he really didn't think of these things. The Dragon King Tai in front of me, who became a member of He Liancheng during the period of the Four Great Detectives more than a decade ago, is actually his uncle. It's really too exciting. At this moment, Su Wen Luo also wanted to understand many things, why his predecessor did not pass the police entrance examination first, and later inexplicably was admitted again. Back then, you applied to the police force, which was something I didn't expect. A month before you graduated, I also said hello to your superiors. As long as you were in the police force for twenty years, your position as deputy director of the police force would be yours. However, I didn't expect that you would become an undercover agent before graduation. When did you first see me? That's just a show for Atian. If he knows your identity, you won't be able to do your business now. Also, next time you call the police, don't let your own people make the call. There are people in the police force called by Tian, and I have already helped you handle it. Su Wen Luo did not expect that his seemingly perfect plan would have so many loopholes. Uncle, thank you. Su Wen Luo is very grateful. Luozi, remember, since you have chosen to mess around, you must be the biggest, most ferocious, and richest one. Su Rentai handed the files from the six boxes of spades to Su Wen Luo. This ghost is the head of Hong Kong Island Customs. In the future, your goods will go through customs declaration directly, leaving him half of each batch of goods. Su Wen Luo understood that starting today, direct goods no longer need to be smuggled over by sea. As long as we go through customs, we have a legitimate channel and can establish a direct brand. Tabor, thank you. Luozi, do it well, but remember, the people from our Su family, even if they starve to death, cannot touch laundry detergent. 
Obviously, Su Rintai has a strong aversion to Ren Qingtian's laundry detergent business in recent years. Tabor, I remember. I won't touch laundry detergent like that in my lifetime. I, Su Wen Luo, swear to the ancestors of the Su family here. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Liang Kuan. I am very angry now. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 8 Liang Kuan. I am very angry now on the way, Su Wen Luo was absorbing what had happened tonight. Some things come so suddenly that they catch people off guard. Luaga, I just received news that Dafei has been killed by Chen Haonan, the leader of Hongxing Society's boss B, along with Ba Guan from Xinji Causeway Bay. Gao Jin put down the phone in his hand and turned to Su Wen Luo, saying, Dafei, this crazy fan, how did he get along with that die-hard fan from Causeway Bay? Previously, I heard from my subordinates that De Fei had obtained a batch of number four offspring from somewhere, but I didn't expect it to be from Liang Kuan. No wonder, Optimus Prime's goods were all handed over to Big Morning and Iobo to scatter. Da Fei has always been a spectator, recruiting blue lanterns, and when someone in the club wants to borrow troops, the first thing that comes to mind is also Mong Kok Da Fei. Now this guy actually died in Causeway Bay, still with Ba Guan. Ah Jean, go to Causeway Bay. Mord Liang Kuan walked in with his nose pinched. Who is so bold as to dare to chop off my sworn brother Ba Guan from Liang Kuan? Kuan, it's Chen Haonan and the others around Big Boss B, the foolish Chang behind him spoke out the news he had heard. Damn him, mother, Big Shot B, you're tough. Kuan, don't be sad, it's not worth it. Who is that cargo next to me? Seeing a salted fish next to Ba Guan, Liang Kuan turned his head to look at Silly Chang. Kuan, this guy is De Fei from Liancheng and a subordinate of Optimus Prime. Silly Chang knows much better than Liang Kuan about this power that, like himself, has planted flags in Mong Kok. This guy is just a big fly, a street thug. He hasn't paid for his five million yuan worth of goods yet. Now, should I go and ask the Yen Prince for it? Liang Kuan didn't expect to lose 25 million yuan in one day. This is because of Big Boss B. I'm very angry now. Liang Kuan became more and more angry as he thought about it. He grabbed the woman next to him, pressed her head down, and then choked his neck, saying. Take away both of their street fights. Liang Kuan took a deep breath, shook his body, and said to the silly Chang behind him. Kuan Gu. Ba Guan's field is now in the hands of Big Boss B. As for De Fei, he is. Before the silly words could be finished, someone kicked open the door of the morgue. I actually want to see who wants to take over my and Lianqing's field. Su Wen Luo slowly walked in, and at this moment, all the people brought by Liang Kuan outside fell to the ground, howling in sorrow. Ah Hulua, why does De Fei owe me five million? Can't I even use his venue to offset the debt? Seeing someone so handsome is like a reader who silently votes and collects in the dark. Liang Kuan felt inferior, but adhering to the principle of not losing to the team and only gaining a little bit, Liang Kuan completely collapsed. Liang Kuan, let me give you this opportunity. If you don't come over, Lian Cheng and I will plant flags. You have to think carefully about the consequences. After Su Wen Luo finished speaking, he instructed the person outside the door, cremate Dafei's body, it smells even worse if you let it go. Give me the phone, Su Wen Luo looked at Silly Chang. Silly Chang glanced at Liang Kuan and only handed the large brick in his hand to Su Wen Luo after seeing her nod. After Su Wen Luo answered, he dialed a number. De Fu, De Fei has been taken down by Hong Xing's people. Give you a chance. As long as you take down Big Boss B, you will take care of all of De Fei's business in the future. This is my intention, and it is also Tai Ge's intention. Liang Kuan is confused, this is not treating herself as a person, right? In front of oneself, let someone chop off Big Boss B, really assuming that one won't complain. Moreover, 
You and Liancheng are nothing but dead grass shoes, actually using our Hongqing fiat people to fill their lives. If you and Liancheng die a few more. Sleeping trough, it is estimated that all the masters of Hongqing's hall combined are not enough to fill. Kuen, are you satisfied with this treatment? Su Wen Luo looked at Liang Kuen and threw the large brick in his hand back to Silly Chang. Satisfied. Now. What else can Liang Kuen say? He is now afraid that if he says no, he probably will use his own life to fill De Fei's life. As Su Wen Luo left, Liang Kuen slapped the Silly Chang beside him and asked. Silly Chang, is this a dot grade Luo from Liancheng so fierce? Silly Chang nodded, thinking of the incident two years ago with A. Grade Goods. So he told Liang Kun the whole story of that matter. After hearing that the whole family of Baihua Snake had disappeared overnight, Liang Kun swallowed a mouthful of saliva. Now he can be certain that this A. Hulua is not someone he can afford to provoke. Da Fu hung up the phone, and now he has many ideas. He had already made an agreement with the dinosaur in Sim Sha Sui and in a few days, he would take his subordinates to cross the line. Unexpectedly, at this moment, Ahulua asked himself to kill Hong Xing's boss be thinking of it, if we could cross levels together with De Fei's territory, we could at least become a hall master in the number gang. Done. If a person dies and a bird faces the sky, they will not die for thousands of years. The AI decided to give it a try, and he directly ordered his head horse Ada to call the Fei's head horse Abeo, and both sides sent people to go to Causeway Bay together. The bustling night of Causeway Bay, although it is now the late 1980s, Hong Kong Island already has the capital to become the four Asian tigers. In the Jinli Huang nightclub, due to Chen Haonan's perfect completion of the club's assigned tasks, Big Boss B is now celebrating the achievements of Chen Haonan's five members. In the brightly lit dance floor, the pheasant kept shuttling among the girls and quickly returned to its seat. Brother B, the girls who came tonight are really pretty, and there are also a few who are high Mimi. There was also a silver Jian expression that men all understood while speaking. Like it, if you like it, go soak it. As long as you can soak it, tonight the boss will pay for it. Big Shot B is very satisfied with the Chen Haonan brothers. Why, because they are, loyal enough. Chen Haonan was his chosen successor, so Big Boss B would also be more tolerant towards his younger brother. At this moment, Da Fu and over 200 of his subordinates rushed into the Jinli Huang nightclub. When he arrived, he had already given orders, and today's goal was to kill Big Boss B and his leader Chen Haonan to avenge Da Fei. As long as anyone can kill Big Boss B, he will give him a job. The people who come out are all young people, with the aim of getting ahead, and some are just passionate about it. Now there is such a chance to stand out, what else does the leader have to say? Following the great morning will be a chaotic execution. Because today is a celebration for Chen Haonan, most of the people in the nightclub are from the entrance of Hong Xing Causeway Bay. When they saw someone sweeping the venue, they immediately drew out their weapons and fought together. Soon, the entire nightclub was filled with swords and knives. Boss B sat quietly in his seat, in his own territory, wanting to chop himself down, he didn't panic at all. End of this chapter Chapter 9 Inappropriate Lottery Blind Boxes You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Inappropriate Lottery Blind Boxes, Great Funeral, You're a Street Thug how dare you come to Causeway Bay to cause trouble and join me in killing him with your hands and feet. At this moment, Chen Haonan's brand new leather jacket had already produced a large amount of blood. Some are his, some are others. But none of these are important. Today was already his great day, completing the tasks arranged by the club and killing Ba Guan. My boss, Brother B has already said that tomorrow at the club meeting, he will propose to Mr. Jiang to promote myself to become the club's red stick. It is said that there are two great joys in life. The night of the wedding, the night of the candles, and the time when one reaches the top of the imperial examination. 
I can also be considered to have a bright future in the top spot. But on such a joyful day, someone is causing trouble. He couldn't bear it. Big funeral, you're a street thug, die for me. Chen Haonan watched as the great funeral slashed a horse from Causeway Bay into serious injuries with a single blow, and the knife in his hand had not yet been retracted. I know, this is a good opportunity. The old strength has passed away, but the new strength has not yet emerged. Just as Chen Haonan was chopping down a horse and preparing to kill the next one, the mountain knife in his hand was already approaching him. Seeing this, I quickly lifted my knife to protect myself. The next second, the mountain opener sank into the arm. The intense pain made him scream out loud. Kicked Chen Haonan in the stomach. This kick deviated slightly from the direction due to a lack of control over the center of gravity, becoming a seductive kick. Feeling the pain emanating from the hidden area, Chen Haonan released his right hand, which tightly gripped the mountain knife, and slowly moved backwards. Ah Bao saw Chen Haonan retreating and realized that it was an opportunity. The fruit knife in his hand fell directly onto his back. Chen Haonan felt a pain in his back, and then a cool breeze hit, knowing that he had been stabbed. He didn't turn back, rolled forward on the spot, picked up a fruit knife on the ground, and turned around to make a cut. Ah Bao covered his neck with both hands, he didn't expect that Chen Haonan, who had been injured, would still have such combat power. Upon seeing Ah Bao's death, De Bei knew that he had completely fallen today and turned his head to shout for retreat. Then the next second, Ada's watermelon knife pierced his chest directly, then made two consecutive cuts before turning around and disappearing into the crowd. De Dai looked at Ada leaving with an incredulous expression on his face, unable to figure out why. Hong Xing's people watched the slowly falling funeral and all rushed forward to start repairing their wounds. Seeing his boss die tragically, he quickly retreated with the winning horse. If you want to kill me, you deserve to go down and sell salted duck egg. Seeing Da Fu being killed by a chaotic knife, Big Boss B slowly walked up to his body and spat thick phlegm on Da Fu's body. Brother Luo, I went to sell salted duck egg at the funeral. After Ada got into a van, he took the phone from the driver and dialed Su Wen Luo's number. Well done, there's 500,000 on board, and there's a ship heading to Southeast Asia at Sai Kung Ferry Terminal at night. You go out to avoid the wind and don't come back within six months. Su Wen Luo finished speaking and hung up the phone. Ah Jin, let the brothers take over all the funeral and flying venues, and have the security team from the factory send 500 people over. Over the years, Su Wen Luo has also been planning to do business with peace of mind in this chaotic era. You must have strength and background. The Inland A Goods Factory, although it appears to be just a factory. But in the past two years, Su Wen Luo has recruited a large number of mainland veterans and helped them all apply for residence permits on Hong Kong Island. To prepare for unexpected needs one day. Now, this day has come. Okay, logo. After answering, Gao Jin parked the car at the Emperor's Club on Prince Edward Road in Mong Kok. This is Su Wen Luo's industry, an eight-story clubhouse. Returning to his room on the eighth floor, Su Wen Luo closed the door and entered the system. After obtaining the system, besides receiving the beginner's gift package, this is considered the first time I have truly used the system. Big Owl System Host Su Wen Luo, age 22 years old points 48.9214 million Physical strength, 7 plus 2, normal person 5 points, strength. 8 plus 3, 5 points for normal people, agility. 7, 5 points for normal people, skill. Mastery level 8 extremes fist, item. Beretta M9, lottery opened. 100,000 points per beginner's blind box, 1 million points per intermediate level, 10 million points per advanced level, 100 million points per master level, 1 billion points per diamond level, 10 billion points per star level, and 100 billion points per king level, note. Lottery items will not exceed the dimensions of reality, note. 
For every 100,000 points spent in a lottery, you can immediately receive a 0.1 increase in attribute points, System Mall. Open Su Wen Luo felt relieved when he saw the system's comments. If something beyond dimensions appeared, it could only indicate that the world may not be simple. Su Wen Luo suddenly saw the second comment, stating that every time he spent points, he was able to gain attribute improvements. My current strength cannot be said to be too strong, but self.protection is completely fine. If one's attributes are further improved, then underpants for external wear. Maybe it's also possible. System, start lucky draw, choose intermediate blind box. As soon as Su Wen Luo finished speaking, a blind box mountain appeared before his eyes, and then all the white boxes began to disappear, followed by other colors. Finally, only the green blind box was left. Su Wen Luo just roughly counted with his eyes. There are about 300 blind boxes here. If you want to open it all, then you need to spend at least 300 million points. Thinking that it was 300 million Hong Kong paper, Su Wen Luo took a deep breath. Start. Su Wen Luo said again. Then the green blind boxes in front of me began to be shuffled and rearranged. Stop. After a stop, ten green blind boxes appeared in front of Su Wen Luo's eyes. Su Wen Luo selects one of the blind boxes and opens it. The incredibly cool fireworks exploded and passed for more than ten seconds. After satisfying Su Wen Luo's appetite, the light in front of him dissipated. Su Wen Luo vomited three liters of blood and spent one million yuan on labor and management. Surprisingly, you gave labor and management a limited edition book. Continue, this time we'll give labor and management ten consecutive draws. Su Wen Luo watched as the familiar interface reappeared, the fireworks dispersed, and ten blind boxes opened in front of him one by one. Congratulations on receiving. One container of fashionable underwear, which will arrive at the port tomorrow, congratulations on obtaining. 100,000 points, congratulations on obtaining. Master photography skills, congratulations on obtaining. Three lingerie production lines, this is ten consecutive draws, Su Wen Luo collapsed. Spended ten million points and returned a capital of 400,000. Ask who else is involved in such transactions. End of this chapter. Chapter 10 Pauline Heavenly Brother, it's time to take medicine. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 10 Pauline Heavenly Brother, it's time to take medicine, Big Owl System Host. Su Wen Luo, age. 22 years old points. 37.51114 million, physical strength, 13, normal person 5 o'clock, power. 15, 5 points for normal people, agility. 10, 5 points for normal people, skills. Proficient in level 8 extremes fist, junior financial analysis, master level photography item. Beretta M9, 3 lingerie production lines, 1 container of top fashion lingerie, lottery opened. 100,000 points per beginner's blind box, 1 million points per intermediate level, 10 million points per advanced level, 100 million points per master level, 1 billion points per diamond level, 10 billion points per star level, and 100 billion points per king level, system all. Open Su Wen Luo looked at the improvement of his own strength on the system panel and then opened the system's mall in confusion. Looking at the items in the system mall, he became autistic. These items are clearly at their own loss, but blind boxes are like this, betting on uncertainty. Of course, after flipping through a few pages, Su Wen Luo slowly became happy. Because he lost, not all of it. Financial Analysis Skills Book 1 million points per book, Stackable Photography Skills Book 100,000 points per book, Stackable Su Wen Luo roughly calculated that if he wanted to improve his photography skills to the master level, he would need to spend at least 10 million points to stack skill books. That is to say, just this blind box will bring back the cost. But as a business owner, 
why should I learn photography skills and become a paparazzi? Forget it, I don't want to. After taking a shower, Su Wen Luo sat by the window holding a red wine glass, looking out at the still brightly lit Mong Coke police station. If you build your own club here, you don't have to worry about the short mules of those clubs causing trouble. There were also some fans before, and Su Wen Luo rudely broke his leg and threw it at the entrance of the police station. And put a sign around the necks of these people. Police Civilian Cooperation Of course, these fans are only members of other clubs. As for the person of Optimus Prime, Su Wen Luo still interrupted his hand and handed it back. One night passed, and Hong Kong Island ushered in a new day. At this point, all the venues in Mong Kok and Lien Xing Tang Ko have been replaced by people from Su Wen Luo. During this period, some other members of the club also learned about the deaths of De Fei and De Fu and wanted to come and beg for some benefits. But Su Wen Luo transferred 500 security guards from the inland, wearing professional security equipment and holding rubber batons in their hands. Rubber batons, although not as prone to death as fruit knives. But in the hands of these veterans, this weapon also has tremendous destructive power. Anyone who comes to step on the field will stand in and be thrown out. Their bodies are bruised and bruised, as for the 500 security guards. All of them were wearing professional stab-proof clothing, which Su Wen Luo spent nearly 3 million points to buy from the system's mall. However, Su Wen Luo found that after purchasing items from the system mall and consuming points, his attribute points did not actually increase. It seems that the only way to improve one's strength is through a lottery. Glancing at the sky outside the window, a heavy rain washed away all the bloodstains from last night's battle. Su Wen Luo arrived at the hospital. Mong Kok and Lien Xing Tang Ko have gone from the era of Optimus Prime. The future will be the era of one's own words and actions. Since that's the case. So there's no need for Ren Qing Tian to stay anymore. Arriving at the hospital, it happened to be 9 o'clock in the morning. Doctor, the daily ward rounds have been completed. At this time, Ren Qing Tian had already recovered from his injuries last night and moved into a luxurious single room from the ICU. When Su Wen Luo arrived at the entrance of the ward, the two people who were waiting at the door were still the same as yesterday. After seeing Su Wen Luo appear again, he quickly and respectfully greeted him, Hello Brother Luo. Su Wen Luo nodded and asked, Brother Tian, how are you? One of the horses replied, the doctor just checked the room and said he's out of danger, but he hasn't woken up yet. Su Wen Luo nodded and patted the shoulder of the young horse, saying, you've worked hard all night. You guys should go rest on the stool for a while. Leave this to me. Okay, Logo. The two young horses stayed up all night, and now they really started to feel tired. Su Wen Luo opened the door and walked in, gently closing it behind him. At this moment, on the hospital bed, Ren Qing Tian was wearing a ventilator and had various instruments inserted into his body. Su Wen Luo glanced at the heartbeat and heart rate on the instrument, confirmed that Ren Qing Tian was still alive, and then turned his head to look at his sister. In. La Pauline on the accompanying bed. At this moment, Pauline was sleeping somewhere, her figure full of temptation. Listening to her irregular breathing, Su Wen Luo knew that the sound of opening the door earlier had awakened her. At this moment, she closed her eyes, just unsure of who came. Su Wen Luo glanced at the luxurious ward and did not find the figure of Ren Qing Tian following the spicy chicken. I think it should be leaving. Turn your right hand back and lock the door of the ward from the inside out. Slowly walking up to Pauline, he hugged her from behind and whispered in her ear. Sister-in-law. Pauline knew she had already revealed her true self, but a woman's instinct still made her continue to pretend to sleep. Su Wen Luo looked at Pauline pretending to sleep and couldn't help but have a teasing thought. Bending down and biting her earlobe. This time, Pauline couldn't help but whisper. Mmm hmm. Dead ghost, where else is Tian Gu? Pauline hugged Su Wenluo's neck and pouted at Ren Qingtian's hospital bed. 
At this moment, Ren Qing Tian leisurely opened his eyes. Su Wen Luo saw Ren Qing Tian lying in bed with wide open eyes but unable to struggle, seeming to be driven by evil interest, and muttered a few words in Pauline's ear. Pauline didn't expect that Ren Qing Tian, a dead dwarf, would wake up, and upon hearing Su Wen Luo's words, his pretty face turned even reddened. Enemy, you should be a lowly family. But the next second, Pauline slowly approached Ren Qing Tian's bed in Su Wen Luo's arms and said, Tian Gu, it's time for you to get up and take your medicine. Looking at Pauline and Su Wen Luo in close proximity, Ren Qing Tian couldn't help but spit out a mouthful of blood. But wearing an oxygen mask, this mouthful of blood did not cause any splashing injury. P.S. Handsome big shots, use your little hands to make a fortune and help me leave some comments. At least let me know that I'm not fighting alone, right? End of this chapter